Good morning, Wixonians. It's David Warner's final match today. I'm very late now. I have to rush and catch the train. Three, two, one! Slave, Lord of the Wolves. Hey guys, so I just came to the stadium. The light trail, <coughs> I expected the light trail to have more people in it, but I think because I came early, yeah, the, see the gates still haven't opened yet. People might like head in uh, later for the game. Uh, yeah, so I'm outside the stadium. Still have like 15 minutes left for the gates to open. I feel like uh, walking around the stadium to check what there is. Let's go. I hear some drums. I don't know what they're doing there. Yeah, so there's people in pink for Glenn McGraw's Breast Cancer Foundation. That's what the pink test is for. Let's see what's going on. It's like a cheering squad, lad. Breast Cancer Parade. Yeah, it was nice. I enjoyed it. Danced a little bit. Um, and yeah, the man himself, Glenn McGrath. Legend. He was there in front of it and 
what a great cause he's uh, doing this for. I think he's collected a lot of money. Oh, first time I'm seeing him live. Couldn't get to like meet him personally, but <laughs> yeah, at least I saw that, yeah? Let's go inside the stadium. The gates are open now. I might also grab a Aussie test kit later. Just wearing a black shirt. Got my bucket hat. Now on my way to my seat. Let's see if I have a good one. My friend booked the seat for me, so don't know. Have to pray it's a good one. I'm in Bay 11, guys. So this is 14, 13. Okay, so one more. Front row seats, man. How cool is this? I was the first one to come in as soon as the gates open. That's why there's no one here. I'm pretty sure they it, like it'll fill up uh, closer to 11 because the match starts at 10:30. It doesn't get better than this front row seat in uh, David Warner's time and match test match. Yeah, it's it's so cool. It can't get better than this. Although, it would have been better if I got the corporate boxes or the, that's the member stand, right? Yeah. Those would have been better because they are much closer to the player boxes. But this is super cool. I'm so grateful. Whew. Hopefully Australia bats first so I can see David Warner bat. Um, yeah, I'm just coming on the first day to see that legend bat one time again yeah I've only seen him bat three times before once in the big bash uh, once in the T20 World Cup in uh, which was in Australia recently and the other time was a long time back I think in 2013 or something when I came for a holiday here so yeah it's gonna be absolutely amazing watching him bat again I have a feeling that he'll play some interesting shots Australia versus Pakistan. Welcome to the pink test. And that's the spider cam. Hello there, mate. See your man's one in a good cost. Gave twenty dollars for the Breast Cancer Foundation. They gave me this uh, thingy. I don't know what it is though. Is it like a flag or a handkerchief or? I don't know. So, how much for the glasses? How much for the glasses? Wanna buy now? Yeah, I'll pay you now. <laughs> how much? I need more than you right now. Really? I need more than you. Hundred dollars? No, brother, thank you so much. <laughs> Where did you buy it from? Sorry? Where did you buy it from? Where? What? Online? Yeah. Online? Cool. They don't have it to sell here, right? In the stadium? No, no, they don't sell here. I would need one because it'll get really sunny. Yeah, it's gonna come down to here. More than one and a half hours for the game to start. Have to find something to drink. Let's see what they have. There was a bar up there. Um, but I'm looking for something else. Something like a lemonade, Sprite, or a Rouge. Hey, how much is our Australian test shirt? The, the white one, yeah? 130. 130. And that's for all sizes, right? Yeah. Okay, I'll get that one. What size? Um, medium. Boys, I got my 
Australian test jersey. Brand new. It was $130, but worth it. Still didn't find something to drink other than beer though. Yeah, so beer was the only thing that I could find up to now. Must be Aussie thing, yeah? That's it. I'm Aussie chess player now. Cool, isn't it? I guess open. How oh, nice, they have free sunscreen to protect their fans. Now, this is the crowd I was talking about. I feel like this whole stadium will be, will be fully packed for this game. I just have the feeling. All good? Thank you. Just what you need on a hot day. A cold Sprite and some fish and chips for lunch. Let's go and enjoy some cricket now, shall we? Couldn't find glasses but found the shirt. Thank you. I think I'm on that team, mate. Uh, it's fine, I'll sit here until someone comes. <laughs>
first ball of the pink test. First wicket already. Can I have one fish and chips, please? Drummy, 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 oi, oi, oi. Bucket hat on and the Australian test jersey. It's time for lunch. My device kept like overheating, so it was hard to record like big uh, portions of uh, that, that innings, which I was ready to do uh, before I attended this match. Um, but like everything doesn't always go to plan, right? Um, but anyways, it's lunch now, and I got myself some fish and chips from that sweet girl. Aussies always have the tartar sauce. They also give you this big chunk of uh, lemon, and yeah, three pieces of fish, some badass chips. So, can't wait to taste this. Mm. All right, eat these chips. Hey. <laughs> so I rate Cafe Duel's chips a little bit higher than these, um, but they're still hot. They're crispy. It's quite nice. The fish is also nice. It's very hot. It's very flaky and soft inside. But the thing I don't like is the crust. The crust is a little bit too hard. You have to really bite into it. Well, overall, I'd give this fish and chips a six and a half out of ten. The thing that I'm most upset about today is that I won't be able to see David Warner back. I might the way Pakistan is going at the moment. So since it's David Warner's retirement test match, I thought about saying some information about David Warner's illustrious career. Anyway, I came here outside in the shade 
I had my lunch, I had some fish and chips for lunch. I came here to give some information about David Warner's illustrious career. Um, but first of all, I'm gonna start off with some stats. He's played 111 tests, this being his 112, with an average of 44.58, scoring 8,695 runs. As for ODIs, he has scored 6,932 runs in 161 matches at an average of 45.30. And in 1990 20 matches, he has scored 2,894 runs at an average of 32.88. Such a legend for the game. I'm sure he'll play some more T20 international matches before he retires. gonna feel more content but alas shit happens my phone was playing up it was overheating battery was going down yeah so a lot of problems well that can't be excuses to make a good video so I'm here to fill in the gaps first of all I want to continue on our topic today David Warner continuing on his stats I didn't know this but he has scored 49 international hundreds 26 in tests, 22 in ODI, and 1 in T20. And he has also managed a very high strike rate in all three formats. What a player. Let's go to the humble beginnings, shall we? David Warner is an Australian cricketer. He's known for his explosive batting style and prolific run scoring in all three formats of the game. He was born on October 27, 1986, in Paddington. As soon as he held the bat, everybody noticed his aggressive approach and ability to score runs quickly at his will. Warner made his international debut for Australia in 2009 in a T20 against South Africa. He quickly earned a reputation as one of the most dangerous opening batters in the world. Warner's test debut came in 2011 against New Zealand, where he showed that he could adapt to the longer format of the game too. It's also worth to mention that he has been very successful in the Indian Premier League, the best T20 franchise tournament around the world currently. Where he played for teams like Delhi Daredevils and Sunrisers Hyderabad, he led Sunrisers Hyderabad for their title in 2016. Warner has also captained and vice-captained Australia in many series. Warner also comes with a little bit of controversy, but we are not here to talk about that. Warner has been involved in various charitable activities, like the Gold Telton campaign, Zadie's Rainbow Foundation for Kids. With his aggressive style of play and consistent performances as an opening batter, David Warner has cemented his place as one of Australia's most influential cricketers of his year. And once again, amazing player. Thank you, David Warner. Although I wasn't able to see him back for the last time, I definitely saw him field. And when he was fielding, he was running from slip to the fast bowler coming from the boundary, Josh Hazelwood, which was stuck and taking their hat and then running back to the slips, always diving around, giving his 100%, dedication, commitment, passion for the game. So let us all try and be like David Warren. Thank you for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, don't forget to hit the like button below. Your support means a lot and helps the channel grow. Also, consider subscribing and turning on the notification so you'll never, ever miss an upload. I'll be bringing you more content like this regularly. I would love to have you as part of this community. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.